The transmission of a torque over a hermetically separated distance can be performed by magnetic coupling. This is, for example, required in medical appliances to drive miniaturized blood pumps in intravascular catheters. There are two types of magnetic couplings, axial magnetic couplings and coaxial magnetic couplings. Axial magnetic couplings can be miniaturized very easily, but put stress on the drive due to additional axial force. The smaller the axial distance between the two coupling halves between the magnets, the more torque can be transmitted, but at the same time, axial force increases. Coaxial magnetic couplings work on the circumference, hence the transmitted torque is independent of the axial distance. However, they cannot be miniaturized arbitrarily. The transmission capability becomes reduced with the miniaturization of the magnets. How can a miniaturized magnetic coupling, regardless of the axial distance between the two coupling halves, transmit as much torque as possible, especially enough to work in a catheter pump? Can the simple design of an axial magnetic coupling be optimized whilst reducing the axial forces and increasing the transmitted torque? The solution is to merge the axial magnetic coupling with the coaxial magnetic coupling. The opposing magnets are placed as in an axial magnetic coupling. On one of the two magnets, a ferromagnetic metal sleeve is arranged, which is divided by a diamagnetic metallic partition. Now the magnetic field lines are guided through the metal sleeve and act on the circumference of the opposite magnet. For manufacturing such a device, this means to first solder the two metals together and then cut the diverting elements from it. This extremely simple but effective construction of the coupling allows an increase in the transmission capacity compared to a conventional axial magnetic coupling using the same magnets. With an axial distance of 1 mm between the coupling halves, a 30% higher torque can be transmitted. At the same time, the axial forces are reduced. The level of transmission capability can now be additionally influenced by the embodiment of the diverting element. The coupling has been successfully used in a heart catheter pump. <laughs>